I'm Mark Beavis. Thank you for logging on to Hockey TV. It's semi-final time and England play the Netherlands. Behind me, Danny Kerry and the rest of the England coaching staff are getting ready for this one. We're ready. Hope you are too. Let's join our match commentator. Joining us here in Germany, Jonathan Beedon. So it was just under a year ago that these two sides met in the World Cup semi-final. And the European champions, the Netherlands, were the ones who came out on top that day. But only just. And make no bones about it, England, they've got a chance tonight. They've improved over the last year. That's a good ball from Van Assen. Netherlands yet again with all kinds of space down the left-hand side. And the shot's going to come in and Storey makes a good save. Oh, and England really need to start sorting out that defensive issue on the right hand side good ball this is Goudery mm. plenty of space in the D again but England have well to track back and uh, it's a penalty corner it's the first one of the game here we go it's pouring on the flick and the rebound comes out and it's still not clear this is Van Ass. But there's been another foot and... Pam and again goes low and Story does well but the rebound's put into the goal! And the Dutch strike first! And you've got to say it's been coming! The Netherlands have created three or four really good opportunities and in the end the pressure's told. The first flick from Marchi Palmer was saved by Story, and England, has to be said, were a little bit slow to react. And it's Van der Hul who put in the rebound. The good first save. Uh, the Dutch were first to react. It's 1 0. Lovely ball down the right hand side, this is Verheig. Oh, Verheig's done really well there, into the D, good skills. And that looks like a nasty injury to Krista Cullen. I don't quite know what that hit. She's in a lot of discomfort. That was out the shoulder. Van Ass. Oh, chance here on the reverse, and Krista Cullen did enough to put her off. Oh, squeezed across, and Story does well, but it was raised up in the air off Story's foot, so it's. An automatic penalty corner. This is Palmer on the drag flick and it's low and hard and Story is beaten. But the England players have got something to say about that. And Beth Story who has not had many happy times against Marchi Palmer. So it's going to be reviewed. Well, we're looking at this and the English are saying that one of them is all oh well that's interesting very very interesting it looked to me as though there could well have been a third party obstruction there I think England have got a case I certainly think they've got a case here And it's not being given, so England, a bit of a reprieve. Cullen throws a long aerial, but... <laughs> yeah. 
I was trying to track that wasp. So a half time here in the Varsteiner Stadium in Munchen Gladbach, the first of the ladies' semi finals. It's the Netherlands 1, England 0. So the Netherlands get this second half underway. Much the better side in the first half. England rarely threatened, occasion on the break. But other than that, it was one way traffic. And the Dutch attacking again, and there's a real chance on the left hand side. And Verhoog absolutely skies it. Chloe Rogers. Giving the ball away, and this is De Gude, and she's found. Lammers on the right hand side, and Story came out and dealt with it really well. Skills and squared across. And it's a penalty corner now. It's a long corner. And Dutch come forward again this time on the right hand side. Gets the shot off. Story. And it's gone through Story's legs into the goal. And the Dutch have a second and possibly a killer blow. The reigning European champions, who have already won seven of these titles, are on course to win an eighth. And England, well, they've got just over 11 minutes. The shot came in from the right-hand side. And Agliotti said, look, I'm coming back here, I'm just checking in, if you mind just waiting for He said, oh yeah, yeah, I said, I can go to the shop, it's fine, and he just put it back. Good you guys. Good work from Chloe Rogers. Really well done there. Uh, chance here for Danton, who's going to get a shot off, it's surely hit a foot in England, have a penalty corner. It's going to be Cullen on the flick. And it comes, and it's a wonderful save. So England, with just over 10 seconds, the game's definitely over already. As the Dutch bring the ball out on the right-hand side, and it's smacked out over the baseline. And that draws to a conclusion, the first semi-final of this Gantt Euro Nations Championship. And it's the world's second best team who are victorious, and yet again England lose out and the semi-final stage to the Dutch. They did it in Rosario last year, they've done it in Germany this year. And quite simply at the end of the day, England just weren't good enough today. So the final score here in Mönchengladbach is the Netherlands 2, England 0. And now back to Mark. So the Dutch delight and England are out. Let's get the views of uh, England captain Kate Walsh. Kate, I, I guess you're bitterly disappointed. Yeah, I'm just gutted. Uh, we didn't perform well at all today. We didn't bring our A game. Too many players, I think, just weren't performing at their best. They just, yeah, the ball was falling away from us when usually we're so, so tight on our sticks. And it's just really disappointing. I, we felt really good before the game and we've had some good results against the Dutch recently and we felt confident and yeah, to lose, I think, like that was was really disappointing. Yeah, I'm really happy, ecstatic, and then uh, we, we beat a really, really good team. And um, when you beat a good team, uh, you're proud of yourself, and um, the girls did a really good job, and um, yeah, I think we deserve to win. And that was Dutch coach Max Caldos speaking to me, and before that it was Kate Walsh, the England captain. So there we are, the Netherlands are through to the final, and England will have to settle for a bronze medal playoff match again. Well, I hope you enjoyed our coverage from everybody here in Munchengladbach at the Gantt Euro Hockey Championships 2011. It's goodbye.